Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to To Be Determined. Today we're gonna go over the Chili Pepper update and everything that the admins changed and how the meta has changed because of this update. But real quick, before we get into that, I just wanna let you guys know that all the music in this video I wrote and you can download it using the links in the description below. Thank you, let's get into the video. All right, so the reason that this update was made before we get into any part of the update is because the admins didn't want Gabagool prices to be so high. Apexes and Vertexes were selling for so much. Apexes were going for over 2 billion coins and Vertexes are around 50 mil or something. So they had to make some changes because this was way too end game. The amount of people with tier 3 daggers was so slim and the amount of people with the maximum wisp pet, there couldn't have been more than 10. Honestly, I'm not sure there were more than five. And this is three months after the Crimson Isle update came out, which brought out all the Gabagool and Inferno minions and everything. So it didn't look like anything was gonna change. So the admins had to make it change. So that's why this update came out. The first few things are to do with Blaze Slayer, which a lot of this update makes Blaze Slayer super duper easy if you have the money to afford to make it easier. Very similar to Enderman Slayer. But the first thing is that they made Kelvin and inverters sell for a hundred thousand coins to npcs kelvin inverters drop from the inferno demon lords rarely according to its lore but they're used for quite a few things and now they're used for even more things from the brand new chili pepper collection which i already made a video on so if you want to check that out it should be overt that direction. The second thing they did was buff the Blaze Tech radio. Now the Blaze Tech radio was a new item from Blaze Slayer. And the way it works is if two people have one of the radios, then they both would tune to the same channel. And if they were within like 20 to 30 blocks of each other, then they would get a buff. But 20 to 30 blocks is not that long of a distance. So a lot of times they would run out of range of each other. And the buff wasn't super crazy, and it still isn't, but the item is super expensive, and it just was really, really underwhelming. So they increased the range on it, so now you don't have to worry as much about whether or not you're close enough to your Blaze Tech radio partner. The next thing they did was change up Sorrow Armor. The true defense on it has changed up a little bit. I think it used to be a lot more. So this is kind of a nerf for fighting Blaze Slayer, but it now has a two piece set bonus called Mist Aura. It hides the wear in a guise of mist, multiplying damage from ghosts by 0.6 times. So basically, it nerfs ghosts by 40%, so it's gonna be better for fighting ghosts now. But because they nerfed the true defense, it's gonna be a lot harder to do Blaze Slayer with just a Sorrow Chestplate on. However, they did change a couple of other things to make this a lot easier to do Blaze Slayer. The first thing they did was buff the Wisp pet. So I do have the Droplet Wisp, but you can upgrade it all the way to Legendary, which I think is the Sub-Zero Wisp, but they buffed it so you gain more combat XP from Blazes. They buffed it by 10% per rarity, so it used to be 20% from the Droplet Wisp, 30 from the Rare Wisp, 35 from the Blue, and 40 from the legendary but now each version got upgraded by 10% more combat XP. So the uncommon one gives 30%, the rare gives 40%, the epic gives 45, and the legendary gives 50. So that's a slight buff, but they buffed it a little bit more. They increased the true defense by 5%. So you can see my droplet wisp doesn't have true defense, but if we go to the AH and search up wisp, go to rare, these guys have true defense right here. And I think that also applies if you gain the bulwark ability. I haven't killed enough blazes to unlock it, but once I unlock that, I think I'll get eight true defense instead of only three. So make sure that if you have a wisp pet and you're using it, that you've at least killed a hundred blazes before you start really doing demon slayers because your true defense from this pet actually matters now because sorrow armor got nerfed. Now we get to talk about the inferno minion buff because these are buffed. They got buffed by a lot. So now you get the maximum amount of buffs from having inferno minions around. So it used to be you have 29 inferno minions down and you'd get upgraded by like 174%. Now, if you have 10 minions down, you get upgraded by 180%. So you would get 6% from each minion, now it's 18%, but it's capped at 180%. So it's a lot less minion slot focused. So if you only have 10 minion slots, you can still get the maximum speed from these guys now. Second thing that they did was increase the drop rates for Apexes, Reaper Peppers, and Vertexes by 10%, as well as whatever the fish achievement guy was. All of those got increased by 10% from Hypergolic Fuels. So hopefully we'll have 10% more of those in the economy. The next thing they did was add a 
new hypergolic fuel drop called the chili pepper which has its own collection in combat collection and i went over all this stuff in another video so if you want to check that out be sure to do so but those were buffs to inferno minions and there are a lot of meta enchants in there that are going to change the game so a very cool collection very useful another thing that they did was add in hypergolic ionized ceramics so every time that a hypergolic fuel expires in one of your minions it will drop a hypergolic ionized ceramic and you can use this ceramic to craft inferno vertexes if you have a full stack of molten powder or if you have a full stack of Inferno Vertexes and a full stack of Molten Powder, you can make an Inferno Apex. So the prices of Apexes are pretty high right now, but they should start decreasing as people start to drop more Vertexes and Vertex prices start to drop down. So when Vertex prices drop, the Apex prices should drop now as well. The next thing they did was add a couple of new stacking enchants to the bit shop, as well as give you the ability to buy a full stack of Inferno Fuel Blocks at a time. So that's really nice. But if we go to stacking enchants, we now have Hecatomb 1 and champion one so hecatomb is mainly for increasing your kata xp you can put it on your helmet and as you get more xp it's going to increase the level just like expertise or compact so this is going to be really good for diamond dungeon heads and like reaper masks and things like that I already put one on my Reaper mask and one on my Max Sword helmet, but it's really, really good, especially if you're a Dungeons grinder. But then we have Champion 1, which does change up things a little bit. You gain 3% extra combat XP. The second hit on a mob grants extra coins and experience orb. And that's just at level 1. This thing goes up to level 10, so it should have like 30% combat experience buff once you get it to level 10. So unfortunately, if you have a one for all weapon, that's not really the meta anymore unless you're already combat 60. It's really unfortunate for me because I have an OFA Reaper Scythe right now and I've got to invest in a new weapon so that I can put that enchant on it. But it's also good because we're getting another buff to combat XP. And considering how far away I am from combat 60, I definitely want to have this buff and I know a lot of you guys will too. Another thing that they did was fix skull chest plus pluses. Apparently there was a bug where they were like deleting items over 255 slots. So like over on page six i guess they were deleting some of your items but they fixed that now so if you want you can start using these i planned on using these but you actually can't shift click items into them so they're not really that usable right now maybe one day carpentry will actually matter another thing that they fixed was the mana vampire bug which allowed you if you had a really expensive soul in your reaper scythe or summoning ring to instantly heal yourself to full health that bug is now gone so insta healing yourself to max health for free you can't do that anymore mana vampire is still good but it's not nearly as good because of that glitch being gone. Another thing they fixed was Aurora Staff kills not properly displaying drops on the client. So I guess if you killed things with the Aurora Staff, then maybe your magic find drops wouldn't show up in the chat. So I'm not really sure what that bug was, but they fixed that. And then they fixed a bug with barriers. So that's everything that they fixed. But the big part of this update is the Inferno minion changes and the Chili Pepper collection, which is insane. So that's everything from this update. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're now on our way to 2000 subs. It's going to be a while, but I'm hoping that we can get there by the end of the year. But I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.